I am at Fabtech 2018, day one. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Fabtech, it's essentially, well, for lack of a better description, it's the uh, IMTS for fabrication technologies. So we're talking welding, uh, plasma cutting, laser cutting, kind of basically everything else in industry that IMTS might not hit, and then some. Uh, it's kind of the uh, conglomerate of everything kind of mashed together. One of the uh, one of the big things here, just like there was at IMTS this year, is well, automation. Now, manufacturing has long been automation. Thanks, guys. <laughs> manufacturing has long been automation oriented, but uh, what's more in this space is automating things that typically couldn't be automated. So we're talking about it in a more broad sense. So not just automation is in let's make a million parts, but it's automation and let's make a million parts in 12 different ways on a bunch of different machines. So it's pick and place, it's uh, metal manipulation, it's using a single robot to move a part through the whole process or something therein. Everything from full-on manufacturing to QC and scanning to reverse engineering. What Creaform is doing is developing, we've developed uh, scanning equipment to be used directly on the shop floor. We're doing using the scanning technology, but we're not involved. We don't have any vibrational error, uh, so we can get closer to the shop floor environment. You don't have to take it into the quality lab. And also portability, as far as taking it out to the field to be able to scan something in the field and allow allow to capture that data and measure the objects, uh, send it back to the headquarters so they, the engineers can work with the model. Um, so when we're scanning, it can be used for product development, reverse engineering, it can be used, in, but it's primarily used for quality inspection. More and more often, especially with the automated systems, um, inspecting it right when it comes off the machine so that they can capture the, the data immediately and make judgments on that data. So because we can adapt to the shop floor environment, we don't have to spray shiny parts, we can push closer and closer to the actual production line so that we get that data quicker, make decisions faster, and allow us to reduce scrap, you know, just reduce the bottlenecks overall in the quality control process. To keep up with production, mm -hmm. you automate because now you can optimize the robot path. You know, a person is fully capable of standing there and scanning at different parts, but the, their path is maybe not as efficient as possible. The scan data that we get, whether it's a human holding it or a robot holding it, is the exact same. There's no difference because the variations in the human hand is not a, does not affect our technology. But a robot, because you can move very efficiently through those paths, that's where you get your real uh, efficiency improvements by allowing not only more parts, but you can get up to the part where you have a 100% inspection rate. I mean, it, it's, it comes full circle when you're talking automation in this sense. It's, uh, it's the future, even if it is also the present.